All right, guys, we're on. First fish of the day. Let's see what we got. Small little, small little channel catfish. Some more fish right over there. Beautiful, beautiful channel catfish, guys. Let's get them back. morning guys welcome to the channel in today's video I'm going to be reviewing my Old Town Saranac 146 canoe we'll start at the bow and work our way to the stern let's get started all right guys so we're gonna start here at the front of the boat uh, I have these uh, portable wheels here this is from Mika canoe I believe I'm saying that correctly I'm not sure it's M Y K A canoe and it fits very nice onto the front here as you can see and it makes transporting the canoe a lot easier than the traditional kayak cart here you've got the logo Saranac 146 146 meaning that it's 14 feet by 6 inches so a little bit of specifications about the boat uh, it is 14 feet 6 inches long 36 inches wide here uh, the approximate weight i believe is 79 pounds and the total weight capacity is 750 pounds and the material for the boat is a thermoform polyethylene material so at the front of the boat as you guys can see here you got plenty of space for the front passenger to sit nice and comfortable uh you got these padded seat cushions here you have some storage space here for some tackle or keys or whatever knickknacks that you're bringing with you. These seat, seat backs are adjustable here as you can see. It comes with a tension cable here. And that's how you adjust the seat. So if you want to sit more up or more back, this tension cable allows for that. Right here, you got a rod holder for the front passenger. And then here on this side here, there's a groove for a canoe paddle. At the middle of the boat here, I've got this rigged up with a milk crate that came off of my kayak. I have my anchor inside here. Some tackle trays. some line measuring tape fish grips and other other supplies and tools that I'll need when I'm underway here you have four four fishing rod holders we'll put that back this is a GoPro mount here I haven't used it on the canoe yet but I use it quite a bit on my kayak Here in the middle compartment this is a dry box as you guys can see and I will have this tethered to this middle seat here ice chest if you guys are taking a day trip with the kids or going long distances here in the middle you have this storage compartment let me move this paddle out the way there's a storage compartment there as you can see additional space here cup holders you have a rod holder on this side 
and some additional storage space here and then here is another another dry dry storage i'll pull that out so you guys can see nice and convenient i uh, front passenger here a middle passenger can sit here and then the rear passenger can sit here very comfortably um you guys see here i have everything tethered to the middle here in the event that uh we do flip or have any type of issues everything is tethered into the canoe i also have these tether points here i didn't want to drill any holes into my canoe so basically what i did was i looped it and then we can drop it right here on the side and we can drop our anchor on the side right here this anchor system here just like that we'll just drop it right there and i have one on this side and one tether point on the other side this back right here in the the back of the canoe you guys can see got plenty of leg room a lot of space for the rear passenger to sit i sit back here so typically i'm the one that's going to be uh paddling so i use the uh kayak paddle here just like that and i believe that this kayak paddle it is a uh, it's a magellan outdoors flare and i believe it's a 98 a 98 or a uh, 249 centimeter um, length paddle works perfectly because the uh, the width of the canoe is 36 inches and as you sit further back it's a little bit more narrow so you got plenty of clearance to to paddle and not hit the gunnels here here on the back side the rear seat padded cushion adjustable seat back and the strap is there for adjusting the attention on the seat to allow you to go more forward or more back on this side here you have a small groove that fits the uh, rear canoe paddle i really don't use the canoe paddles as much uh, I, I, I tend to like to use a kayak paddle more and here on the back side just a little bit more space for you guys to uh, store tackle or gear uh, i keep my net back here all right guys i went ahead and stripped all the gear out i took all the fishing gear and all the tackle all the uh milk crate out there so you guys can really see got a lot of leg room here a lot of space for the front passenger here in the middle definitely uh you can fit uh maybe a, a dog or you can take your kids with you here in the middle got a lot of space here all this leg room here a whole lot of leg room here for the for the rear passenger and to fit equipment and gear. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys found the information useful on the Old Town Saranac 146 canoe. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you. Take care. Bye.